Hello everyone and welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you my newest creation. I just started playing the adventure mode and I um, realized how annoying it is that your camera is so restricted and um, so I thought, okay, yeah, of course you can use bullets and missiles to get a, a third-person perspective on the world, but they always go in straight lines, and I know there is the remote guidance for missiles, which um, is definitely an option to um, control a missile and get a better view of the world, but it's kind of weird to steer it, because you steer it with the direction you're looking at and you want to get a view of the world. You could change the weapon slot um, you're selected, so you don't control the missile, but that leads into other problems. So, I came up with this. A missile you can steer with um, the arrow keys on your keyboard. Yeah, in the uh, upper right corner you will see um, that I'm next to a complex controller and I can uh, press those uh, four directional keys and they spin those uh, spin blocks. And um, yeah, the lure code basically takes that into the missile so I can steer it. Let me just show you. I currently have this debug mode enabled so we can see in which direction the missile is heading. And now let's press the left arrow. And this is what happens. Let's press the right arrow. And let's press the up arrow. And let's press the down arrow. Yeah, and as you can see, I can steer this missile. It has a lifetime and a fast duration of 2 minutes. So, um, you can use this to, uh, to scout. And to have a better view in your craft. Um, this craft in particular uh, was designed by Sam and it's not that pretty to look at, of course, but <laughs> um, sure, you you get the idea, right? And of course you can also use this to, uh, to attack. It's kind of difficult and you have to practice, maybe, maybe design a better missile, but in theory you could also use this idea to uh, attack the enemy, just like so, yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, so let's quickly explain how to install this on your craft for anyone who isn't here to get an explanation of the code. I'm gonna do this first. Of course you're gonna need a complex uh, controller. Uh, you get it from this section in the inventory. Just place it down, get next to it, so you can access it. Furthermore, you have to go into sub-object mode, click on the spin block in the middle and save it and just place this down on your craft, right? Just place this on your craft. You'll need it somewhere around. Then you'll need a missile controller. You'll need a launch pad, any launch pad. And you'll need a lure transfer receiver. And now you have to make sure that the lure transfer receiver and the launch pad are both called menu. And um, you do that by hovering uh, yeah, into them with uh, block and uh, build mode and press shift N. You could also uh, press Z and get yourself um, the rename tool. You can put it somewhere in your hot burns and you can do this with your character as well. And select it and left click and then you can also rename stuff. But um, yeah, just name them both manual and click them. Then you'll need a missile, any missile you desire. The only um, important thing is that you choose the lure transfer receiver from the fuel and control section right here. And uh, yeah, then just make a missile that has a, a decent thrust duration. Of course, you could um, make a missile. Uh, which deals different purposes. For example, you could use a cluster missile, which drops missile uh, missiles when uh, the enemy is in range or something like that. But um, for the moment, just build something like that. Get some regulators to increase the lifetime. And yeah, there you go. Then, of course, you'll need a lure box. Just get yourself a fresh lure box on your craft, right? And then go to my lure box, right here. Press Q on it. Press Ctrl A to select everything. 
make sure everything is really selected until the very end. Then press Ctrl C to copy everything. Then you can exit. Then you move to your new lure box on your craft, enter it. You delete everything by, by pressing Ctrl A and uh, yeah, just remove the text. And then you press Ctrl V to copy uh, to paste what you just copied from my lure box. Then don't forget to press apply changes and there you go. Now the lure box is running. Um, by the way, this code of course is uh, contains way more um, stuff than just the control of dismissal. It's my collection of every behavior um, I currently bro uh, I programmed and I'm gonna release more videos on how to set up different missile systems with different behavior. Right now we are uh, only using the um, manual control section from this code, which is uh, only this part. Uh, here comes the scout section and the formation section and the detonation and the attack section. I'll, I'll explain how to install that probably in different videos. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the explanation how to install this. Uh, the system. Now I'm gonna explain a little bit what I've done here. So, um, as I already showed you, there is a section for the menu control right here. So, this is inside two for loops. Those for loops uh, run through every trans receiver and every missile. Um, I explained that in the first uh, video of my Lua tutorial series already, how you uh, do for loops and what they have to do with missiles and um, yeah and this basically just applies to every missile um, which brings me to the point you can only control one missile with the system well you, you could I guess it will also work for multiple missiles but uh, just put one of those missile systems on your craft right that you only have one missile you use to scout the other missiles will just follow, no. but um, you only need one. Um, yeah, so this um, basically checks the um, orientation of the four spin blocks because those spin blocks respond to the uh, advanced control. Right, this is for up, and this is also why this spin block is named up, and this is for left. Yeah, it's also named left the spin block and the lure code just checks for that it uh, goes through all the spin blocks on your craft it checks for the name and if it's named up down left or right it will uh, save its uh, rotation and i get the rotation right here and um, then it just checks if uh, this has changed if the rotation of the spin block has changed in the last game tick and if so it will um, will steer the missile and in order to steer the missile, uh, you use this command. Yeah, again, it takes into account the trans receiver and the missile index. And uh, then you can put here where the missile should go. Uh, X, Y and Z coordinate. And um, my aim point is just the position of the missile plus new missile, which is the vector. And this is just, uh, yeah some mathematics here with rotate vectors and add them and stuff. You don't have to get that, but basically uh, I, I just uh, move this velocity vector of the missile. I move that around and rotate it left, right, up and down in order to steer the missile. Because uh, the target point of the missile is always the position of the missile plus the velocity of the missile. And if I now press the left arrow the velocity vector will be rotated left and this will make the missile go left as long as I keep this button pressed. Yeah, this is the idea. Um, yeah. Alright. Um, and I guess that's it for this video. If you want a detailed description and maybe a tutorial of how to program this lure code. Just ask for it in the comments or on the Steam Workshop page and I will try to find some time to do that. Um, yeah, 
And if you have any questions or problems uh, with installing this uh, dismissal system, also ask me about it because uh, I'm new to uh, recording videos and doing that stuff. So uh, give me a break and help me out if you can. So also a uh, uh, nice comment or yeah, a compliment is also appreciated. So do that if you if you enjoy the system. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.